Welcome team, I'm Ash Freeman and today we're moving through a 20 minute upper body workout but before we begin, just a reminder that this class is designed to be done alongside the lower body and the total body classes which I have linked in the description box below. Together these three classes create a really beautiful resistance training program for you to follow weekly from home. So today I'll be using mostly a 5 kilogram set of dumbbells. Use whatever you have today. However, we really want to choose a weight that is going to challenge us, that we're going to feel exerted by the end of each set and definitely by the end of the workout so if you feel like you're just kind of cruising along today it's probably your sign that you need to go out get some heavier weights come back and get that challenge next week so just make sure that you have a nice safe and flat space that you're always listening to your body so take rest and modify however and whenever you need but I am so grateful for your time and your energy so as soon as you're ready grab a drink bottle grab a towel maybe pop some music on take a deep breath and we'll get moving <music> team come to standing grab your weights of choice you need to be able to press these over the head so take that into consideration while you're choosing bring your feet shoulder distance apart then stand up nice and tall for me soften through the knees and we're braced through the core from here we're going to work shoulders and biceps first so we curl we press we come back down and then extend the arms back by the sides finding that starting position again so are you ready 40 seconds here breath in and let's go. If you have lighter weights, you'll likely be able to move a little bit faster. If you have heavier weights, I want you to focus on that form and that control. Keeping your shoulders down as you press. Good. Avoiding any kind of swinging or swaying through the torso. Just those arms moving. Nearly there, you've got 10 seconds. This first round is just about getting used to the weight, getting used to the movement. And rest, good job, okay. So now let's move on to working through the back. So feet stay the same, you hinge from your hips, shoulders over your weights. We're gonna fly, reverse fly out to the side, arms are straight, and then we're going to wide row, arms come to 90, and back to that starting position. So ready, joining me now. We fly, wide row. We fly, wide row. I'll show you from the side, you keep moving. So that hinge from the hips, fly, wide row. Good job. Bring those weights back together. Find that starting position each time. Control the weight down as much as you control the weight up. Shoulder blades squeezing back and down. A few last reps here. Three, two, one. All right, stand up. We are moving back into our bicep curl and our shoulder press. So we do each exercise three times. This is now your second round. Add weight if you feel like that first round was pretty easy. I want you to feel the challenge by the end of the set, like you couldn't do too many more reps. All right, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. And if you only have a few sets of weights or one set of weights, again, if you're feeling like you need more, you speed it up. Always focusing on that form and that control. Good job, I'm aiming to get Eight to 12 reps in this 40 seconds. <sighs> Breathe. Don't hold that breath. You've got five to go. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Take those weights down, shake those arms out. So with that fly, weights together. Keep your arms as straight as you can. If those weights are heavier, I know that those elbows are gonna bend, but just as much as you can, and then open out to 90 degrees for your wide row. Three, two, one, get set, let's go. The core is really important here too. So get the bum back and then hold tight through your core, your neck in line with your spine, proud and open through the chest. Whew. This weight, is challenging for me. Five kilos each side. 
So I'm going to have to slow it down, really concentrate. That is a good sign that you've chosen an appropriate weight here. <sighs> that you'll really have to con concentrate on your movement, okay? Woo! All right, 20 seconds break. I'm going to need my sweat towel already. <laughs> so take a break. Drop the weights. Let your arms relax. Now we come into our final round of our curl and press, okay? Last round. Maybe you go heavier again. Three, two, one. Off we go. So I bring the back of my dumbbell just to lightly tap my shoulder here as it comes up and again as it comes down. Good. That way I know they're kind of traveling in space and around about the same way from side to side. Hold that core for me. Stand tall. Weight evenly distributed through your feet. You've got five seconds. Oh my gosh. Three, two, one. Rest. Woo! Final round. Working through that back. So we're working on squeezing those shoulder blades back and together each time we open those arms out to the side. Woo! Let's go, guys. This is a beautiful one for your posture. Three, two, one. One hinge from those hips, core on. Let's go. Concentrate, use your breath. That exhale is going to help you find power here. Over halfway. Try and keep that chest parallel, almost down with the ground so that this stays a back exercise and not a shoulder exercise. Four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Okay, have a break. You have just over a minute now and we're moving on to our next two exercises. So you shake it out, you have a stretch, do whatever you need while I explain our next two. These next two exercises again, we're hitting shoulders, and we're hitting back, okay? Then we're gonna move on for our final round to chest and triceps, but let's stay where we are for now. So you're gonna grab your weights. We're gonna take them just in front. Again, same setup with the feet, shoulder distance apart, nice and loose through those knees, grounded evenly through those feet. Okay, take a breath in. I set up, find that strong starting position. I raise to the front, and then lateral raise to the side. I keep my elbows soft and my arms as straight as I can, but little bending those elbows, okay? So we're going front and lateral raise. 20 seconds till we begin. Whew. Are you ready? Get ready. We got this. You should really need this break, okay? I want you to need the break by the end of the 40 seconds and by the end of the round. Three, set up, two, Strong start, one, off we go. Those weights are coming to shoulder height. It might look like I'm going a little bit higher because my camera is a little bit lower, but I'm aiming just to keep the weights at shoulder height. Good. Let's keep going, you are halfway through this round. Again, I want you to need that rest. Oh my gosh, I need that rest. <laughs> That's me, 10 seconds to go. <sighs> Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, next exercise, we're coming into some Ren rows. So, option one, we come back to this hinge position. We're going left, right, left, right. Option two, we'll be on all fours or up in plank, and we're rowing back side by side, alternating through. Ready, three, two, one, off we go. <sighs> Little tip here, keep your shoulders over your wrists and we wanna row that dumbbell back to the hip, okay? It's coming back and up, <sighs> not straight up. Good. <sighs> Hold that core so your hips aren't rocking side to side. Keep going if you're down on the ground. If you're looking for that other alternative, 
We're going one at a time, rowing it back. Elbow pushing back past the body. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. All right, team. So that are our two exercises. If you're down on the mat for the rows, you're going to get a little bit more core, okay? It requires more stabilization, especially if you have those knees up and you're in that high plank. Woo-wee! All right, let's get back to our shoulders. Three, two, one. Set up. Off we go. And do you remember in the bicep curl and shoulder press where I mentioned no swinging and swaying through the upper body? Same thing here. Try and control, especially that front raise. It can be a tendency to try and kind of worm through the body to get it up. Hold the core. Slow it down if you need. Use the breath. Good. Shoulders down. And rest. All right, team, let's go second round of rows. So you're either up, hinged from the hips, or you come down on all fours or in plank. Ready? Three, two, one. Off we go. Again, we're rowing back to the hip. Good. Keeping those shoulders square down to the mat. Core on. All right, I'm going to try up on my toes. Good, breathe. If you're up on the toes and this turns more into a core exercise or you feel like you're working more through your chest, come back down so that you can isolate through the back. Good. Two, one. Take a break. All right, final round. Oh my goodness, guys. Are you as sweaty as me? What is going on? Woo, shake out those arms. We're coming into that final round, front and lateral raises. Okay, challenge yourself if you haven't already. Get a heavier weight. See how it feels. Three, two, one. Off we go. Set those feet. No swinging. Let's go. Exhale. It's only 40 seconds is what I'm telling myself so that I keep moving with you. And we're already halfway through for that. Okay, 15 to go. Oh my gosh, team. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Okay, so let's remember why we're doing resistance training. One of the most important things we can do, especially as women, as we get older for our long-term health and well-being, <sighs> looking after our bones, our immune system, everything. Muscle mass is super important. Let's go. <sighs> Rowing that weight back towards your hip. And this is something that I feel really passionate about recently and now. As someone in my coming up to mid-30s, it's getting myself the strongest head start as I head towards eventually menopause and the rest of my life. What can I do now to make those transitions easier? One of the best things is this, what you're doing right now, resistance training, a little bit of jump training. So let's go. Think of future you and how grateful you will be that you did this today. It is so hard to be the person who shows up when there's no class around you, there's no teacher in front of you who shows up and still chooses yourself and takes that 20 minutes. So just my hat off to you for being here. You are such a winner already. So give yourself a clap. All right, stop talking, Ashley. Let's get on to our next two exercises. We're gonna start with tricep extension. So I'm gonna choose one heavy weight. I'm gonna come onto my knees. Take the hands either side, arms overhead, keeping those elbows squeezing towards each other. We take a bend, extend, lower down in front, lift overhead. Bend, extend, 
lower down, lift. It's a strong one. You're going to feel it through your core. You're going to feel it through those triceps and probably the shoulders as well, because that's how we do. You've got 20 seconds. So choose your weights. If you have two light weights, you can hold on to both of those weights. Same thing, bend, down, up. Bend, extend, down, up. Let's keep those spines straight. Woo! Choose your weight. Most important thing, I don't want those elbows opening to the side as we bend, they stay up and in. Three, two, one, off we go. Bend, extend, lower down and lift. Bend, extend, down, lift. I have to hold on to my core. Let's go. Use the breath where you need. Your breath is your tool, your best friend here. I'm squeezing my glutes as well to really help stabilize, especially as that weight comes forward. Little tips, little tricks. Let's go and rest. All right, so now we are coming into Old Faithful. Look, we could have laid on our back and done flies, but we're going to work on our push-up. We're going to use our body weight here. So hands down, a little wider than the shoulders. Your pointer finger, index finger, faces forward. Let's go. We come down, two, three, press. We're going to lower slowly. Down, two, three, press. If you can't press back up, I want you to come all the way down, back to child pose, and then forward again. Okay, let's go. Lower down, two, three, exhale, press that mat away. Down, two, three, press. If you're like me, working through wrist issues, you're going to come up onto your weights. Down, two, three, press. Down, two, three, last one, two, three, press. Nice. 20 seconds off, guys. So chances are most of us at home have light weights, okay? So that's why I've chosen to give you a push-up instead of a press laying on your back on the ground because we can use our body weight more to our advantage here. And I know so many of us want to work on that push-up anyway. So three, two, one. Let's go. Extend, bend, extend, down, and up. Woo! Glutes on, core on. Elbows squeezing towards each other the whole time. Nice. Breathe. Catching that breath for those push-ups. Am I right to think that most of you, I see it in the comments all the time, want to find out how to improve your push-up? And doing that, working on the lowering the descent phase of your push-up is how we do it. So whether you can actually push up off the ground or whether you come down onto your belly, it doesn't matter. I want you to focus on that slow, controlled lowering to the mat, okay? Woo! Your elbows are going back at the slightest angle, back and out. Soften those shoulders down, open your chest, three, two, one. Let's go lower, two, three, press. Lower, two, three, press. If you are up on your toes and your knees are lifted, you are my hero. This is definitely one of the areas that I am working on since having my kids is getting my push up back, being up on those toes. Who knows, if we do this workout every week, like planned, who knows where we could be in six weeks from now. Let's go, one more. Two, three, press, why not last one? Down, two, three, ah, good. All right, sit back. Final round, guys. Final round of your triceps and then this whole workout is done. I'll tell you what, I have done this one a few times now, but this has gone so much faster. So thank you for being with me. So much better when we're together, for sure. Three, two, one, off we go. And forward. Lower, extend, forward. Whew. Good. You know what you're doing now. Focus on yourself, focus on your body, focus on your breath. Squeeze those glutes. Hold that core. 
tricep extension, squeeze at the top, lower. You've got 10 seconds. Woo-wee! Let's go for four, three, two, one, rest. All right, final round of your push-ups, and that is the last thing that we are doing today, okay? So I want you to give this your all, your absolute all. We can do it, we can do hard things. We've already proven that today. Woo! All right, three, two, one, off we go. Doing it for future you. Doing it for the you that is going to be pumping push-ups out on your toes, two, three, press. One, two, three, press. You're already halfway through. Two, three, press. Good, let's keep going. I'm with you. I want you to know that this is really challenging for me as well. You're not alone. Let's keep going. This is where it matters. All the way to the end. Four, three, two. Give me one more. Woo! Oh my goodness. Give yourself a huge clap, my team. Make sure that you drink lots of water, eat lots of healthy food, prioritize your protein and prioritize your rest. So I've left a beautiful stretch for you here. Otherwise it will be in the description box below. Make sure that you like, share, comment, subscribe, all of those things. If you enjoyed the video, it just helps me to reach a lot of other people like you who might benefit from these workouts. That's it for today. So take care of yourself, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye, my team.